What's up guys? Uh, talking about Black Convicts doing a playlist on taking care of them and tank mates. Um, Black Convicts are super cool fish. They're super sturdy. I like to keep them with uh, a lot of my larger predator fish because they are smaller in size and they wind up eating a lot of the uneaten food that some of the larger fish can't uh, eat. So in this case, larger fish like 12 inch, 10, 12 inch fish, Black Convicts are awesome because you can keep them with bigger fish and uh, they're super sturdy. You can keep them with Oscar fish too, which is really cool because Oscars don't have a lot of tank mates and They're one of them that I advise so I don't even advise silver dollars. So all right black convicts Let's talk about taking care of these guys The e I consider black convicts the easiest fish in the industry to keep and that means they're super easy to take care of so uh, This is kind of a cool tank. I got going right now. I have a bunch of pink convicts in here, too Essentially, it's a black convict, but it's actually uh, white instead of pink. So if you're looking at getting into like the convicts, they're also pink convicts. And I have a playlist series devoted to them too. So um, here's a black convict right here, another one. Um, hopefully you guys can see those, maybe you can't. Maybe I should flip the cam. Not a huge deal. Black convicts breed like crazy. Uh, let's talk about how to take care of them. Tank size, I would say a 20 gallon minimum. Um, I'm gonna keep that easy, 20 gallon minimum. I have a species specific 40 gallon breeder on the floor. They are super susceptible to like a wide range of parameters. Uh, keep your water clean, your fish deserve it. Get a good filter, hang on the back. I highly advise um, the AquaClear 110. Uh, get a gravel, get a python, change your water frequently. This is like beginner stuff, but still, if you're wondering, uh, this is just generic black convict care. So. 20 30 gallon minimum tank size oh, that light just went off my light schedule is all screwed up right now i don't know what the heck oh it's daylight savings a little bit ago and i just haven't haven't got around what the heck is that timer sorry to interrupt i don't do any editing if you don't notice okay lights are back on i'm also resealing this tank um re-siliconing it's a six foot tank it's my I uh, haven't re silicone in a while. That's a hassle. All right. Generic black comic care. Um, 20, 30 gallon minimum, somewhere around there. Tank mates, uh, pretty much anything. Like these guys are crazy. They can live with tetras, angelfish, um, anything that isn't too crazy. Like obviously um, piranhas or something won't work. But I keep them with big predators like this because they even do well with big huge predators because they can't catch them And essentially they hold their own as long as you have good hiding spots like big terracotta pots and stuff um, As far as smaller smaller setups um, I keep them in a lot of my tanks just because they they help keep just that general ecosystem well balanced um, You know sometimes if I have like a Jack Dempsey in a tank that is a little too aggressive I'll throw in some more convicts to kind of like battle out the, the aggression because convicts do have an aggression by nature and they hold their own so um, I literally bought the other day those some pink convicts they were like this long and we were laughing because uh, when they were in the bag they were fighting with each other like they are so tough and so just distinctly interested only in their own life that's what makes them so sturdy um, I got off topic again. I'm such a rambler. So, uh, tank mates, wide open range. Like, if you have any questions, just comment, and I will get back to you. I reply to pretty much all the comments. Um, change your water, get a good filter. Uh, food, just uh, wide open again, guys. I like the, the Bug Bites Omega-1 brand. Uh, my favorite food to feed them will probably be right now uh, the Fluval Bug Bites. Dude, look at these fish like this is probably why this tank leaked like these jaguar cichlids they take these big rocks they'll bring them to the top of the surface and just drop them like if i had a brain in my head i would remove the rocks but i think they're cool <sighs> if i swear to god though if this tank starts leaking too i'm gonna lose my freaking mind because i already came home to this one leaking all over the place uh multiple times okay Back on topic. Favorite food right now? Uh, bug bites. Insect larvae, bug bites. The fish, uh, 
I just go off of what the fish like. They love these things, the bug bites. I'll throw a link in the description box to all this stuff, the filter I talked about. I also talked about a lot about freeze-dried brine shrimp from a seller on Amazon. It's 100% brine shrimp, so it's really protein heavy, which I love. Um, what else is there, guys? These things are like the tuna of the sea. Like they breed like crazy. They're the easiest fish, in my opinion, to keep in the freshwater world. Essentially, people might argue with me that the pleco is, but I don't think so. Black convict all day long. So, guys. If you have any questions, oh, they breed like crazy. I just did a video on what to do if they breed. Uh, it's essentially kind of cool though. The black convict is like a staple in the industry. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be the same without the black convict. So, what else can I guys? What else can I show you guys? Uh, the fry are growing nicely. I left the net in here so that they get used to it, so that they're easier to net because these fish. I've been trying to net out the larger ones because. Uh, like that one's a larger one there but uh, if if the if the babies if some of them get too large they start to feed on some of like the slow growing ones and essentially you start losing fish because the largest babies essentially eat the smallest ones it's, it's not rocket science you guys understand but I leave the net in there so that they get used to it and then when I feed them they're easier to net because these are Texas cichlids and they're insanely difficult to net because they're so fast all right guys I'm gonna wrap this up black convicts uh, send me um, questions or videos on convicts uh, I have so many crazy stories about convicts like I had a convict survive I forgot one in a bucket once for like a month I know this is super sad to talk about but I forgot one in a bucket like a baby I siphoned a bunch of babies when I used to keep more of them and I forgot one of them and the thing literally survived for over a month in a five gallon bucket with like this much water in the bottom. If that shows you how tough these fish are. It's it's not a cool thing to talk about to do something like that because I'm, I'm all about the fish and giving the fish the best lives but accidents happen. You see them all the time like uh, f babies living in canister filters. Yeah, all right. I'm going to probably go live now in a little bit, do some more topics, answer some live questions. I'm excited. I love going live. So, all right, guys. Ooh.